anger, frustration, sadness, they were all emotions which rose as we did more of these meetings. I felt pity for their inability to be a free human, to pair their action with their empty words. Palestinians in Gaza are more free than the puppets of the free world. The genocide in Gaza was escalating even more as we drew the deadline of deciding whether to stay on board until Gaza or stop just before that. They needed an answer. Deciding not to stay was not an easy decision. I was closer than ever to Palestine. I can smell it so close and so warm. I have nothing to lose, I said. Yet I know I have so much. I have an amazing community, lively life, dear nephews, my sisters, parents, my work. I've got the gift of life. And I'm reminded that to live for a cause is harder than to die for it. To live with this responsibility and be willing to risk it all, live it to the fullest and put it all on the line with every choice I make for this movement for liberation of Palestine and the whole world. Palestine is not a country anymore. It is an ideology of justice, of humanity, compassion, equality, and freedom. As for us, to shift the current and balance the scale, we need to learn from each other and make this a consolidated global movement. On the journey, we also met artists who I joined voices with and sang, trade unions who were active in successful revolutions. School kids learning about injustice and painting their love to the kids in Gaza. And they gave us the paintings for us to deliver it to Gaza. Local solidarity groups who are committed to continuously meet with their governments and protest. Media teams who were covering Hamdallah and the aim of it. We also met University of Akurunia students and administrators who did the first encampment and put in place a manifesto to protest the rights of students to protect the, the rights of students protesting, affirming the cessation of ties with this genocidal Zionist regime and protecting students on campus with anti-apartheid, anti-Semitic and anti-Palestinian rules. With most importantly, we sat with Palestinian Spana in the diaspora. We grieved together, we sang Palestinian songs and imagined a liberated Palestine with all its beauty and aliveness. We met olive trees with their resilience. We sat with them and we listened to their ancient wisdom, stomped our feet on their soil, waking up memories of my ancestors within my blood. These meetings taught me to keep the light as a guide to my actions and that when the lives of millions, past, present and future on the line, we work together. On a micro level, starting with ourselves, holding ourselves and each other accountable, shake the conditioning and decolonize our thoughts, words, and actions. Find our center to act from a place of balance. Ask yourself every day, how am I unconsciously perpetuating the cycle of abuse? How can I contribute even if with one action today? How can I challenge my fear and say the word of truth somehow? What tools do I have and can use in service of this reformation, transformation in place. We counterbalance the chaos around with peace within and with organization. The killing with more life. The silencing with louder voice. The division with unity stronger than ever. On a macro level, we show up. We show up to marches to council meetings, engage with the system so we can change it from within, infiltrate the cancer of the world with healing on many levels. Top down, bottom up, and we meet in the middle, the balance, that peace that we are looking for. We are going to escalate by organizing even more, holding our politicians accountable for their contribution to this genocide on humanity and to many untelevised ones. We will remind them with their roles why they are elected in the first place. They seem to have forgotten that. 
and that we will not let them swim in their bloody money with that account anymore. Before I started speaking, some of you got some white full, which is jasmine, essence on their wrist. This is a gift from a Palestinian sister I met in Malaga, Spain. She brought it straight from Gaza. Smell it. Allow it to swell through your breath and into every cell within your body. Between all the blood, the screams, the distraction, and the destruction that we are witnessing, allow even if a sm for a small place for a jasmine smell and let it paint the beauty this land and its people have in them. Let this memory continue to build and grow, grow a future reality full of flowers and peace, real peace, real peace. Hold on to the person next to you. We need to listen to each other, trust each other, and work on our and each other's strength points. We will have disagreements. We will look at each other in the eyes and be like, no, you're wrong. My idea is better. And that's fine because each one of us has a different point of view, a different way of seeing this situation from a different angle. We need to trust each other's vision and work with that so we can grow from this and not let these differences divide us. Let's be focused. We are each other's resources 